north of the border in Toronto. The setting for the Lakers, in a word, dominance. That's how you describe the incredible LeBron James. Once again, digs in to lead his team towards a win as they prepare to do battle at Scotiabank Arena. Lakers, Raptors, our tip-off just mo- It's the NBA brought to you by 2K Sports. A very special Easter Sunday. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. And let's take a look at the last handful of seasons and the steal numbers for Gary Trent. And when you see the tumble his steal totals have taken the last few years, you, you can see that he's gotten away from playing the kind of gritty, hard-nosed D he was known for. That, that's an aspect of his game he needs to get back. And now the Lakers starting group at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves down in the block. It's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the small four. And for Toronto... Emmanuel quickly out there with Gary Trent. Then it's Barrett. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, And it's Abaji in at the four spot. Well, great. Both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. Russell against quickly. Pass to Barrett. Now, here's Olenek. Tight defense on him. Toronto working the ball around now. It's James atop the key. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. In the paint, LeBron James is capable of running right over the defender. That is athletic. The pass to Abaji. Here's quickly. Banked in off the glass. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot, especially in the first quarter. Passes it to Hachimura. Here's Reeves. Pass to LeBron. Fires for three. Nailed from three-point land. Three. LeBron's got five now. When you're guarding LeBron, you have to give him something. So the king, well, he'll take a three-point pass. Quickly against Russell. And here is Olenek. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Trent with the wide-open look. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Now here is Hetchimer. Now Davis. His last outing, he had 24 points. And James gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Eight points for him. Nice little duel here. LeBron getting the three points back for his team. Quickly finds Barrett. Here's the floater. And the layup is good. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. You know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel Quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. No pun intended. A volume three-point shooter and has a deadly floater in the light. What separates AD from most big men is he's just got every tool at his disposal, and he knows exactly when to use them.
First free throw is good. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Some big guys struggle at the line, but not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Trent, right side. Pass to Abaji. Shot clock at six. Toronto needs to get off a shot. Barrett inside the three-point line. The wing jumper off target. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. Three-point lead. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And they had to scrape and claw to get the win the last time these two teams went head-to-head. -head. It came down to a few key free throws at the end. Olenek, a screen on Hachimura. Barrett against Hachimura. Abashi, the pass to Trent. Olenek sets a screen for Trent. Rebounded by the Lakers. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Outside, Russell. Trent against Davis. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. I'm telling you, even in the mid-range, Davis is deadly. He's got the perfect mechanics, and it just works at any distance. Trent goes in. Good. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. The Raptors shooting their first free throw of the game. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group. Only around 75%. One shot. And Trent, no good on that one. This season is just about in the books, Richard. How ready are these teams, do you think, at the top of the rankings to get into the playoffs and go full force? The postseason is so close, they can taste it. But that doesn't mean it's time to slack off. You still want to end the year strong, even if you've secured a playoff spot. Hachimura against Barrett. Davis, that's for two. It's rebounded by Quickly. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. There's the pass to Abaji. That's a floater go, and it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. He kicks to Russell. James outside. Back to Russell. Pass to Davis. LeBron outside. There's the triple. That's in there. Davis with the assist. James has got 13. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous score, but this man also knows how to get cooking. Pass to Barrett. Over LeBron. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got his second basket. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Pass to Hachimura. To the middle. Oh, and he misses the dunk. Look, I'll give him an A for effort for trying to dunk through the defense, but maybe he should ease up on that one just a little bit. And that one's good quickly. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. James outside. Hachimura setting the pick for LeBron. And the pass to Hachimura. Outside, Russell. Here's the three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Here's quickly. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16.5 points a game. Barrett, no good. LeBron outside. Passes to Hachimura. Back to James. The Lakers moving the ball around. And 
it's Davis yeah, finishing it off. Ooh, when the brow gets up, you better get out the way. There's not many people with that length and that athleticism. Olenek, a screen on Hachimura. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on LeBron James. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. And that one falls for Barrett. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. And so Barrett nails both of them. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Lakers leading by five. Pass to Hachimura. Back to James. Out to Russell. Let's it go with a three. Good, and the assist yeah. goes to LeBron. Russell. Russell's got six. Great find by Braun using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. Dicks checked in for Toronto. The Lakers also with a sub. Prince has checked in. Pass to quickly. The pass to Dick. Quickly against Russell. Passes it to Dick. Shot clock at five. From deep three-point territory. Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Reeves. Davis sets a screen. Reeves the pass to Davis. Here's Trent. Nice D from Russell. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Driving in. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Abaji the pass to quickly. Here's Dick. He's guarded by Davis. Quickly. And the Raptors miss again. And Prince has got the ball here for the Lakers. Eight-point game. Here's Russell. Rebound by Olenek. The Raptors have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Here's Quickly. Misses from short range. Los Angeles leading by 8. Down low. Here's Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Olenek up top. Here's Abaji. Nothing on the board. Has to quickly to end the cold streak. Throws it from outside. In so many different ways, Dick gets the ball to his teammates, always on time and on target. Russell looking around. Here's Prince. Again, the Lakers. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Raptors trail by nine. Now the pass to Abashi. Trent outside. Passes it to Dick. Back to Trent. He's looking for Olenek and finds him. That one misses. Great D that time from Davis. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Up high to stuff the alley. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. 
Wow. Yeah. Toronto's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Trent outside. Shoots from the line. Astro Winnick jacks up a three. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And listen, if you're seven foot and can shoot threes, there's a place for you in today's NBA. Olenek has that rare combination. Reeves the pass to Prince. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Yeah, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, they're in control on both ends of the court, and it's always impressive when you build a double-digit lead in the first quarter. Here's Abaji. He's covered by Hachimura. Olenek, a screen on Russell. And it's quickly missing. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. Olenek against Russell. Here's Reeves. His last outing, 16 points for him. Davis with a screen on Trent. Reeves the pass to Davis. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And now it's a 12-point Laker lead. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Here's Dick, guarded by Prince. Dick with it. Scoreless thus far. Olenek, a screen on Prince. 16 feet away. Jump shot is good. So much balance when Dick's in the air. Always able to square his chest and make a confident throw. And so it's Los Angeles going into the break with a 10-point lead. Point shot has been big for him. And we'll be back with you shortly. Enjoying your Easter as we are here, as we get underway once again. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Los Angeles. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high-percentage looks. They've got Porter. R.J. Barrett is out there with Bruce Brown. Then there's Jalen McDaniel. And it's Dick in at the three spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. This is classic LeBron leaping off the floor for a powerful dunk. Brown dishes to Barrett. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Davis. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but Greg, the versatility at, at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. The first one falls. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game, a versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Los Angeles leading by 10. LeBron sets the screen for Dinwiddie. Fires the three. Rebound by the Raptors. A 
tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the board. The poor rebounding is something that they'll have to shore up going forward. It puts you at such a disadvantage when you look at the battle of possessions. McDaniels off target from outside. Los Angeles has gone a terrific five of six from beyond the arc in this game. To the paint. Dinwiddie wide open. No good on the triple. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Trailing by ten. They host the 76ers after this game. And that'll be the fourth of this five-game homestand. Round against Dinwiddie. Pass to Dick. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Brown. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Los Angeles leading by 10. The pass to Reddish. And here is Prince. Loads it up for Davis. It's stolen by Brown. Passes it to Dick. Kicks to McDaniels from downtown. Buries it from three-point range. McDaniels got his first puck of the game, and he's on the board for three. LeBron with it. Working on McDaniels. LeBron passes to Davis. And they double up Davis. Back to Jane. Five on the clock. Prince outside. Off the mark, and the drop continues. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to Indiana. One thing Greg, you notice about Torian Prince, he can play anywhere against anyone. And he's a versatile player who gives you just a ton of effort. Drop Prince into any lineup, any scheme, and he's going to find a way to affect the game. Here's James. Oh, James absorbed the hit on the drive. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Barrett with the ball. He's picked up by James. And that one, good. Barrett's got four points in the quarter. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Attention fans. Now on the Corey Burr High Squad, get loud and let them hear it. Some changes for Toronto. Abaji is checked in, and Trent subbed in for Dick. And then for Los Angeles, Jackson Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Hachimura comes in for Prince. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Dinwiddie. LeBron kicks to Russell. Outside, James. To the middle, here's Hayes, and Hayes throws it down. Just another dime from LeBron, and this man, every time he drops a dime, I feel like he moves up the leaderboard. Pass to Abaji. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Second personal foul. The Raptors shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. At the line for two. Okay, Abaji! And the first one at the line is good. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm ready for daily preparation.
hydration. Rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. James drills them both. And hey Richard, when you played with LeBron in 2017, did, did you think he'd still be elite all these years later? That man has had a two decade long prime, Greg. I had no idea how much longer this guy's going to be able to do it. But with LeBron, it's just different. His longevity is special. The screen from Brown. This one for three. Rebound the Lakers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Russell against Brown. Now, here is Russell. He's tightly guarded. Hachimura, no good. Raptors trail by nine. Here's Abaji. Nice to from Russell. to James. And again, the Lakers no good. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. Brown wide open. He fired. Good on the three-point shot. Brown's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. LeBron left side. LeBron James charging through contact. Toronto's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Toronto calls timeout. Olenek is checked in for Porter. And then for Los Angeles. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Hayes. And it's Austin Reeves in for Reddish. Make some noise for him again. Barrett against Hachimura. Trent passes to Olenek. He kicks it to Barrett. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. Nice. Four for seven from the floor with that shot. Incredible night for Barrett. He scores in a multitude of ways, and he brings the effort on every possession. Count it. Davis has got 14. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him, just let him roll. Here's Barrett. Plays it up off the glass. He's got 15. You thought that first quarter was good? He's been even better in the second. Lakers leading by five. Outside, Davis. Back to Russell. the pass to James. Now Hachimura. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got three assists in the game. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. Pass to Barrett. And it's good. Two points. Barrett's got 11 points in the quarter. And he's Clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? James kicks to Hachimura. And they double up LeBron. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Barrett. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Hachimura against Barrett. Hachimura, the pass to James. And they double up LeBron. 
Here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. He can dominate, beat you up in so many ways, and Davis is giving that D. Oh, he, he's giving them problems tonight. Raptors trail by eight. Now, here's Brown. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Barrett, no good. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the Pacers in Indy. And finished off by Davis. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. And the Raptors call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. We need you to dance around right now for your North Side Crew. Dicks check in for the Raptors. Quickly comes in for Brown. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for LeBron James. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season but I know he hadn't lost his confidence and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight Olenek finds quickly here's Abaji for the three now on the scoring column with that bucket one for two this game this is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three point shot now and they double up LeBron. The Lakers moving the ball around. And that one, good. Davis has got 20. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Quickly against Russell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That is third. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. This is his second at trip the to the line in this one. Raptors. Okay, Abati! And he makes the first and didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. He's perfect from the line this time. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They've held a 12-point lead early. And they double up LeBron. Back to Russell. Pass to Davis. Lock at six. Pass to Reeves. Puts up a deep three. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got four assists in the game. With as much defensive attention as AD gets, those passing lanes will be open for him, and those are the passes he needs to make. And the pass to Abaji. Here's Trent. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Here's LeBron. Smooth finish inside by LeBron. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. And here is Quickly. He's got seven. Here's Dick. And Davis sends it back. You can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach is high. Come on, man. That was never going to happen. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Quickly kicks to Trent. Here 
Here's Dick. He's covered by Hachimura. Olenek, a screen on Hachimura. Dick can't get it to go. Lakers leading by 14. LeBron passes to Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. Dick, that's good. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. And the Lakers call time here. Let's call time up. Checked in. Prince has checked in for Los Angeles. One oh six left here in the second. Passes to Hachimura. Loads it up for Davis. A flawless finish on the alley oop. The and the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense, and then makes the right pass. Down low, and he takes that one up and powers it through. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot, but when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better, he'll take it. Here's Reeves, dishes it to Davis. And he gets the he basket. Officials down. blowing the whistle, Here so a Trent chance at the Junior. line for one more. That's his first high intensity foul. play from Davis. Second Getting it to go down. through the foul. Nice little and one. The line Lakers shoot their Lakers. fifth free throw of the game here. Anthony Davis. One shot. Come on. I'm not sure we've seen someone like AD before. Super long, skilled, athletic. He's just a unique talent. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Barrett over Prince. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Outside, Russell loads it up for Davis. Well placed, LU pass into the layup. But there's no end to the number of ways Anthony Davis can beat you. Just think of one, and he'll beat you with it. From deep three-point land. Oh, and he got the ball! Wow! wow. Yeah. Wait. yeah, that's one in a hundred type shot. But hey, that is why you just throw it up there. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Lakers. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. We come back right after this. Welcome to the Halftime Show. And if they're gonna turn this around, it's gonna be a long road back for the Toronto Raptors. What stands out to me is how they're getting out of work, especially on the glass. No physicality whatsoever. This is where your fans start to feel let down. And you appear like you don't care. And the truth is they do care. Uh, they're just playing like they don't. And moving along now, let's take a look at some upcoming matchups. And for that game against the 76ers, even though they'll be facing a higher ranked team, they just feel that they're just as good. I'm telling you, 
I could see it in their walk, their swagger, Shaq. You could see it in their eyes. Yeah, they're motivated to prove it. They just need more motivation, though. It can be a tough challenge on both ends. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. But I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Taking a look at the Lakers. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Uh, look, I can't think of a better partner to have a pick and roll with than Davis. Sets hard screens and has soft hands to match. Olenek finds quickly. Back to Olenek. Toronto working the ball around now. Quickly the pass to Barrett. Shot clock at six. Olenek, a screen on Hachimura. Barrett inside the three-point line. And the Raptors tack on two more. Man, I tell you, hard to guard Barrett any better than that. At times, he's capable of taking and making the tough shot. Quickly against Russell. Let's it go from deep. Doesn't go for him. Raptors trail by 14. Abaji the pass to quickly. He dishes it to Barrett. He's feeling it. LeBron grabs the miss. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Outside, Russell. Inside, here's Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Reeves has got five. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And Richard, with D'Angelo Russell, he's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. And then go quickly. James looking around. And James throws it down home. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Trail by 16. Pass to Olenek. Acted quickly. Here he goes. Misses from close range. Lakers have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Out to Russell. Puts up a three. Rebound by the Raptors. Well, despite some uneven shooting for them, they're still out in front. Here's Abaji from outside off the mark. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. The pass to quickly. The three. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got six rebounds here tonight. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. LeBron James still has a singular focus. He says, I'm a winner and I want to win. Competing for championships has been my goal since I entered the league. Once you know how to get there, playing basketball at this level, just to be playing basketball, is not my DNA anymore. Kevin, he certainly has that special sauce. 
He is letting it be known in championship medal to boot. David, thank you. Here's Reeves, defended by Trent. Kachimura against Barrett. Back to LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. And if you try to block his shot, you risk getting posterized because he is good at using that height to his advantage. Quickly kicks to Barrett to the left wing. Trent passes to Barrett. And the layup is good. Barrett's got nine points now in just the second half. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Here's James. Good in the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his seventh assist in the game. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Passes it to Barrett. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Outside, Russell. Here's Reeves, defended by Trent. James kicks to Hachimura. Pass to Russell. Let's the three fly. Buries the long-range jumper. Russell. Russell's got nine. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Barrett. It's Trent on the wing. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Abaji. He's got seven. And again, Toronto with the triple. He might not have the long range ability to up some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Hachimura, the pass to Russell. Pass to Hachimura. To the inside. LeBron is doubled. Here's Reeves. That three off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Quickly against Davis. The dish to Russell. Takes the three. Rebound by the Raptors. Oh, Linux got rebound number five here tonight. And to put things simply, this has not Lakers been his ball. court. And let's take a look at the numbers for LeBron James. Putting up about 25 points per game. Eight assists and seven rebounds. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. And it's Davis missing. Raptors trail by 17. Now, quickly. Nine points in the game so far. And there's the pass to Dick. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And a chance here to go to a rookie leaderboard and give a nod to the best long-range bombers of the past month. Brady Dick, third. You know, coming into the NBA, you, you knew he could stroke it from long range. And over the past month, he's has shown us exactly that. First one falls for him. And you look at Grady Dick's physical gifts, and you see it's all there. Size, length, careful training, and hard work could make him into something special. Both good from the line that time. Lakers leading by 15 to the paint. Here's Davis. And it's and slammed in by Davis. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Quickly against Russell. Quickly the pass to Dick. And Davis sends it back. And they recover it. 
In Toronto, they've gone 5 and 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Here's quickly. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. James outside. Back to Reddish. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Raptors trail by 20. Pass to Abashi. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on LeBron James. All right, Richard. With the game on the line, which current player would you choose taking the last shot? You can't go wrong with game time. KD is up there too because he can get his shot off from anywhere. But you give me one shot, I'm going to say Clay Thompson. He misses the free throw, and the Lakers making a change here. Prince has checked in. He hits the second from the line. So it's the Lakers now. Outside Russell. Stolen by quickly. They get a hand on it and stolen by Russell. And it's Davis at the elbow. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. Anthony Davis. Davis has got 37. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Quickly the pass to Dick. Here's Abaji. Pass to Trent. Dick with it. Six on the shot clock. And it's off from three-point range. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Davis, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. 39 points for Anthony Davis. And Davis has added strength over his career. Really helps him inside. Pass to Abaji. And Toronto turns it over again. All right, now let's check out the standings in the Eastern Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. You take a look at the Raptors. It hasn't been a great season for them. We may see some changes in the offseason. Some changes for the Lakers. Jackson Hayes comes in for Hachimura. And Dinwiddie subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Lakers leading by 23. Dinwiddie outside. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. Here's quickly. It's rebounded by Hayes. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But, hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Davis setting the pick for Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick, the setup, the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better, you'll take it. Yeah, and they showed effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And it's Davis missing. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Toronto. The pass to McDaniels. Back to Brown. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Cam Reddish. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Oh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. 
And also, got to be impressed with their interior play, getting in, in the paint and figuring out ways to score. The first free throw is good. And it's checked in for Toronto. And Brown drops them both. Los Angeles has gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Dinwiddie kicks to Davis. Back to Dinwiddie. Inside. It's tipped. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got 43 points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. And again, Toronto no luck. The Lakers shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. Back to Dinwiddie. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Oh, you got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Barrett with the ball. He has 31. Dick hits the three-point bomb. Dick's got nine. And whenever Dick is getting a pass, if he has any chance to get off a clean jumper, you know it's going up. Dinwiddie passes to Prince. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. For real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Operation Feed the Horse. Feed him early and often. And guess what? It's working. They have the lead. Brown the pass to Dick. And again, Toronto with the triple. And that is why this team has Grady Dick. A floor spacer coming into the league with an elite three-point shot. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers ahead by... The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo! And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. R.J. Barrett is out there with Brown. Then it's Porter. Then there's Dick. And it's McDaniels in at the power forward. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Porter, a screen on Dinwiddie. Just five to shoot. Porter, no luck. The Lakers shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. Davis dishes to Dinwiddie. Knocks it loose. Round with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. Passes it to Dick. Over Reddish. And there's Dick. That's good on the assist by Brown. 
14 points for Grady Dick. Dinwiddie, the bounce pass. Here's LeBron, and he finishes nicely on the layup. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. The screen from Brown. On the wing, Brown. The tray. Reddish grabs the rebound. Reddish has got his fourth rebound in this one. Dinwiddie passes to James. Dinwiddie's shot is off. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Pass to Dick. Over Prince. Dick can't get it to go. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Here's James. James, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. After all these years, LeBron still has the fire, willing to do the dirty work. Brown dishes to Barrett. Back to Brown. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Now here's James. McDaniels defending. James in the post. Here's Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got assist number eight here in this one already. Now, here's Barrett. Defense is right there. Reddish with the ball. He's picked up by Dick. He feeds it to Barrett. Stolen by Prince. And that one's good. James. 35 points for LeBron. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Brown outside. Kicks it to Barrett. So around the NBA, Richard, we've seen an uptick in injuries. More missed games. Why do you think that is? Well, call me old, but guys used to play through those minor aches. You said it, Kevin. I've played 82 games four times in my career. I've played 78 or more seven times in my career. End of the day, you're not healthy for all of those games. It's about making that decision to push through and go play. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Barrett, wide open, he fires. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. James outside. And they double up LeBron. Prince finds Dinwiddie. Six to shoot. Davis setting the pick for Dinwiddie. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Porter. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Brown outside. Here's Barrett. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Barrett. Barrett's got 38 points. Uh, an effective mid-range score. Barrett excels at finding openings in the defense and capitalizing. Timeout called the Lakers. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Screen by James. Beyond the arc. Dinwiddie with the bucket. And in the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Got a piece of it. Trent outside. There's the screen. Here's Barrett. Pass to Abaji. Offline with his three. 
Los Angeles has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Down low. Here's LeBron. Uses the glass to finish the lane. LeBron's got 37. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Here's the pass to Abaji. Unloads from 13. The Lakers with the rebound. Look like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. Prince kicks to LeBron. Passes to Hayes. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's that one out of Linux. And for a while, the West held Brighton rights on being better than the Eastern Conference. For Los Angeles. Uh, Rich, you think that's changed? I think so. You see a number of powerhouses now in the Eastern Conference, and the West is way more open. That free throw, no good. So he comes up empty, missing both. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father was the coach, but his mom was actually the first woman to be an NBA scorekeeper. So he was raised around the game. Kept alive. Lakers have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Dinwiddie passes to Prince. Up top, Reddish, defended by Trent, and that one is good. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Now, here's Trent. To the middle, here's Olenek. Fouled in the act of shooting, gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And he really, the improvement down. as Jackson a finisher Davis. is noticeable That's his for Kelly Olenek. And G.A. starting next down. season, some big repeat penalties for teams well over down. the camp. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four-year span, their first-round draft pick falls to the end of the first round, that'll sting. That one misses for Olenek. Lakers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Bounce pass, Prince. Prince with a screen on quickly. Back to Prince. Pass to Mays. Good work there as it goes. Mays has got his first points of the game. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Here's Barrett. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Barrett's got 40 points. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. Here's Giles. Pass to Mays. Prince with a screen on quickly. Here's Mays. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. The Raptors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. The pass to Barrett. Wing shot on the way. Again, Toronto. Showing improvement in that aspect of his game. Barrett wants to get better firing off the catch. Passes it to Hayes. He kicks it to Prince. Here's May. Quickly covering. Prince's shot is good. The man has no heart, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go into the next. Gotta at least show a little heart out here. Pass to Abaji. 
charity stripe shot, and the shot is good. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Here's Mays, quickly covering from deep Prince. Toronto grabs the miss. And here's Barrett. And one thing that came from this new CBA GA, mandatory participation in the NBA Draft Combine. Yeah, more equal access for teams to study various prospects. Player agents can't keep teams in the dark like in the past. That makes for a more level playing field. Here's Childs. Kicks it out to Prince. Here's Giles. Barrett covering. And it's Giles missing. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. Barrett against Prince. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got 46 points. Los Angeles has gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Here's Mays, quickly covering. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And the Lakers making a change here. Coming on the floor for the Lakers, Cameron Reddish, Spencer Dinwiddie. Here's Prince. Pass to Reddish. Clock at six. Prince with a screen on Barrett. A shot by Reddish, no good. Toronto's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. 129 left in the fourth. Barrett dishes to Olenek. Olenek sets a screen for quickly. Off target from three-point range. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Lakers. That's his this was a team foul. performing to second its uh, fullest foul. capability. Uh, a a hugely satisfying Christy. win. A, a, a game that Shooting not ball. many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and o with one game left against this squad. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Davis. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Screen by Olenek. There at the pass to Abaji. Traps in the tray. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Quickly against Dinwiddie. Prince kicks to Hayes. Good. And a nice assist from Prince. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Trent passes to Olenek. Now, here's quickly. And the Raptors hit again from deep. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. Hayes the pass to Prince. Now Hayes. Bad to Prince. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Lakers. Torian Prince. Two shots.
And that one falls for Prince. He doesn't get the second one. Barrett with the ball. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shockingly, I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, AD. Efficient night offensively. What got you going there? I got in the gym yesterday and just played some one-on-one. -on -one. Get back in the rhythm, get some game shots, and it helped me out tonight. Um, that's it. You know, I just try to stay with it. I'm confident in my game, confident in everything that I do, every shot that I take, and tonight it went in. Yeah, you were rolling, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis.